Hi, I am Iki. Do you want a multi-language system on your video game? I want my video game to be played in English and Spanish. So, first I need a text element where I'm going to display the text that I'm going to translate. In my case, I choose a label. Here I will show you a welcome message for the example, but you can create menu buttons or whatever you want. The translations will be saved on a local database, in a CSP file. This is a sheet file, like Excel. There's a free software to create and edit these files, so let's download. Once installed, I create a new sheet document. Now I need to place all my text here. You could have all your dialogues in just this one document. I am going to use one column for the English language and another for the Spanish, but if you have more languages, you can use more columns. For God to identify that it is the English language, I must place the word NUS, and to identify Spanish, I must place ES. I will show you this later but I will put the Spanish wrong so you can see what will happen. Note that I reserved a first column and here I am going to enter a name to identify each text that I am going to use. As I can have many texts to translate, I have to assign them a name. So, each row will hold a different text. Once finished, I save the file as CSV format. We have other encoding options, which will depend a bit on the language we are using. By default, it usually has the appropriate configuration. I get an error, and it's because I put the name wrong in Spanish. Just in case, it is good to reimport, and also check that the tabulation of the elements is correctly specified according to the configuration of your document. Now, it only remains to use the values of the document. I'm going to assign one of them to my label, but first I have to tell Godot where my translation file is from the translations menu. Then. I select the corresponding languages from the list. Finally, we link in our code using the tr function and indicating the name of the value to take. Notice that I use the values from the previously created document. That's it. Subscribe to support the content and get much more material. Thank you, until the next time.